About five years ago, Karen and I took the kids to Mexico and I did what I always do. I just went for an early morning run at sunrise on the beach. I was taken aback. I'd never encountered that much litter on a run in my life. For every piece that I picked up, I was leaving thousands behind and knowing that in a few hours when the tide rose, all of this litter was going to be washed up into the sea. It was such a devastating moment for me, knowing that there was something I encountered that was much bigger than me. I didn't understand what it was and I couldn't fix it. That's what changed everything for me. I just kept thinking, what if we could use this amazing technology sitting in 2.4 billion people's pockets around the planet? And if there's an app that's not out there, someone should make one and inspire everyone to just do something very, very simple, like pick up one piece of litter a day. This quotation is, is so powerful for me because it says every minute one garbage truck of plastic is dumped into our oceans. And this has it to It just stop. started to pull me. It drew me in and I was just so blown away by how deep the problem is, how far humanity had gone into this issue, sleepwalking. My first question was, why should I use your app? People pick up garbage all the time, but then I, I realized that it is important um, to be able to track the number of single-use plastic or whatever that we picked up, because it's like then you can find out your contribution, other people's contribution, and then like collectively, we know that we're making a difference. And if we can do that, we could really have a chance at tackling this issue. We now know that 91% of plastics don't get recycled and 32% end up in the ocean annually. There's just so much work to be done. So to have someone like Tamara, who's been such a great friend and just a great force of nature, um, coming, coming in to help and jumping in full force, promoting her work uh, has just been huge. He showed me one of the presentations and I knew I had to get involved. So I've been helping Dimitri with, you know, with kids in the schools. Go in, we teach them about single-use plastics and the effect it's having on the ocean, the planet. That's the way it's gonna change. And it's educating and it's little by little. Single-use plastic by 2021. We really support you and your colleagues for making a difference in our Our planet. <laughs> Without the period. Oh yeah. We use plastic a lot, which is really bad. If the garbage continues, almost all of the sea life will be gone. Having students at such a young age starting to become more involved with an app like One Piece a Day, I think it's powerful because it gives uh, insight for our children to see that they can make a difference. Fun to take pictures and like contribute to saving the planet. One Piece a Day is a, like a really great app, and if you pick up trash, like you get goals and stuff, and it also save our Earth and the environment around us. Our generation created this problem, and they're the ones who want to fix it, and I think they're truly inspiring. The global community, so we've picked up um, almost 300,000 pieces of litter since we launched and we've actually set a goal of one million users in the next five years on the app. The power of many coming together gives us a way forward and so we can all work on the solution together. Right now, there's so many issues uh, and challenges facing the planet that it's no longer enough just to be you know, engrossed in your life and taking care of yourself and your family. We live in an unprecedented time where whether you're young or old or big or small, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter where you live on the planet. Every decision that we make now affects the planet, all of us.
One person picking up one piece of litter a day is nothing. But a million people picking up one piece a day can change the world. Thank you.